fishing trip when all of a sudden the sky turned gray zombies came out of the water and snatched us out I drowned in the water I drowned in there and I guess I must have been washed up ashore I gave her a fishing rod for her birthday She loved it so much she cried and she said, Daddy, will I be able to feed a family if I learned how to use this fishing pole? I said, Megan, I will teach you to live for yourself on your own. You'll be able to take care of yourself and your mother. Who's sick? She has Parkinson's. Oh, Jesus Christ, Megan. Where have you gone? You were right in this boat with me. We were in the water, we were fishing. And you said you caught something. And when you pulled it out of the... When you pulled it out of the water, it was a zombie's head. And it bit you. And then I fell out of the boat and hit my head on a rock. Oh my god. All I remember is being washed ashore. And then passing out. And I woke up here. Oh Christ. I'll find you, Megan. If it's the last thing I do. Little 12 year old Maggie. <laughs> oh my god, I should check her. I should check our house. That's probably the smartest thing to do. Maybe she pulled over. Went over to... Maybe she went over to the house because she was scared of the zombies. Maybe she's alive. Maggie! Maggie! Maggie, are you in here? Are you in the closet? Open the- open the closet door, damn it, they don't open. I should have got this thing fixed years ago. Oh Christ. Maggie! Are you in the refrigerator or something? Let me close the door. I'm letting the heat out. Maggie, where are you? Are you under the bed, maybe? Maybe if I turn on the radio... Only static. That means only one thing. That means there's been a zombie apocalypse, and everybody's died. Whenever you hear static on the radio. My friend, hello! Hello! 
Hi. Listen, I can't find my little girl Maggie. I will scour the earth to try and find her. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey man, punch me in the face, I swear. Punch Why? me in the face. No, I'm looking for my little girl. Her name, is, her name is Maggie, and she's 12 years old, and she likes punch me in the sunfish. face, bro. Punch me, punch me, punch me. Don't call me, me bro. Why do you punch me, please? Come on, I'm not your bro. Come on, you faggot. Punch me in the face, man. What the hell, Maggie? Maggie, can you hear me? It's Jorge, your father, who loves you. Don't you remember me? Don't you remember me? Your mother, she left us. She left us because you were too stupid. I told you it was all your fault, but you didn't understand me because it took you forever to learn English when you were just six years old. You weren't speaking yet. I don't blame you anymore. Remember when you were playing with the blocks? And you didn't know how. You didn't know how to play with the blocks. That was our home, remember? You helped us paint it. It was a terrible paint job because I let you pick the colors. And you were so mentally retarded. Oh god, you were so mentally retarded? The colors did not even close the matching. <laughs> oh god. No. 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 It's not your fault her mother left you. Maggie, come out. I'll be a better father. Oh, hello, my friend. Hello. Hello, hi. Oh my god, finally somebody who speaks. Jesus, I, I have a, a very important thing that's happening to me right now. You see, I woke up over on that shore. I was... I was out fishing my daughter. Her name was Maggie. She's 12 years old and she was trying to catch a sunfish. But she caught a zombie instead and it bit her. Can you help me? What's your name? Yeah. I see. What's your name? My name's AC. Easy. Hi, Easy. Hey. Hello. What's your name? Man with the red shirt. Zach. Zach. Okay. Easy and Zach. Listen up, okay? I've lost my daughter. 12 years old. She's a little bit slow, but she knows the sound of her name. I lost her in the water. Like, I think it must have been a day ago. I don't know how long I've been passed out for. But I woke up over there near the shore, and the boat was wrecked. I'm sure she's alive. Now, I just need you to help me. Okay, we're gonna do a little search party. And I could use some food and stuff too because I'm, I'm just kind of starving a little bit and I'm kind of cold. Anyway, will you help me? Yes. Yep. Okay, fantastic. I can feel the passion in your voice. I know you are good men. Tell me, did you both have families? Yes. Yep. What happened to your families? You know. I don't know. I lost them whenever I was young. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, anyway, let's just join us. Let's just join in a, a moment of silence for the deaths of our families. Just five seconds will do. Maybe seven.
And now we rise. And we are renewed. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. With, with a new sense of vigor and glory. And soon, my friends, we will find ourselves staring at the sun. With our family in our hands. With only one way forward. The true light. To become a Jehovah's Witness. Okay. Okay, we'll do it together. Don't worry. Ooh, bandana. There we go. Now I look like I'm looking for my Maggie. There's a jacket, but I can't pick it up. Why? I'll just press tab. There we go. Now I'm warm. Until they shit into rags. And put it in my jacket. She loved yellow. She ran into an oncoming taxi cab when she was four years old. She was so retarded. But I loved her nonetheless. I told her and her mother. I don't care how retarded our little girl is. I love you both, even though I know it came from your genes. Andrea. If I can't find my daughter, I will at least seek vengeance on this entire world. I will kill everyone. Why? Because I'm broken inside. Because I have nothing left to live for. And that's why I wear black. It's a representation of how I'm feeling inside. It mirrors... It mirrors my inner child. tell you that your mother and I love you don't talk to strangers don't take any candy don't be rude to the elderly always do your homework on time you will grow up to be a strong woman just like your father. I mean like your mother, damn it. You will find a man. You will marry him. You will grow old together. You will not live in a little 55 square foot trailer park made of metal with no windows. You will no longer sleep under our bed. You will have your own children. I love you. I miss you. Oh, 
What's that over there? It seems to be some kind of a town. I think. A person. A strange person. Hello, my friend. Hello, my name's Jorge. Hello? Do you have any food or anything that you can share with me? Hello, sir. Sir, excuse me. Excuse me, I lost my daughter. Her name is... I lost my daughter. Sir, excuse me. I would just like some food or something, or maybe some clothes or something like that. Ah! so concludes the story of Trailer Park Jorge and his quest to find his daughter and the truth of what happened.